What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making a cocktail that will help us ring in the time change called The Arbitrary Nature of Time. I'm not sure who created this cocktail, but I will say that it was first published in a book called, okay, I think that it was first published in a book called Rogue Cocktails, which was published by two bartenders, Max Pazuniak and Kirk Estampinol. Hopefully I'm getting those names right, because uh, they're a little bit more challenging. Um, these guys were two bartenders that were working at a bar called The Cure in New Orleans. That's where they met, and they uh, wanted to self-publish a cocktail book where they took some of their own recipes and then some of the more eclectic recipes from their friends and put it together into a self-published book. Uh, but then the Rogue Brewery came along and slapped them with a uh, trademark infringement complaint and they had to change it to Beta Cocktails. Uh, Beta Cocktails was you know, just like all reformulated and republished in 2011. Rogue Cocktails haven't been published in 2009. Uh, so I'm assuming that if you have a copy of Rogue Cocktails that that would be pretty pretty valuable seeing as they're, you know, it's, it's not something that you can get anymore um, unless they just changed the name, and I'm not really sure. I don't have either one, either of those books, although I am very familiar with a lot of recipes that came from those books. Uh, I am pretty sure that these two guys did not create this particular cocktail, um, uh, but they definitely published it. And then the other thing that I wanted to say about this is that I rejiggered the uh, specs a little bit. Uh, the original specs are written below, uh, so you'll have my specs and then the original specs. Uh, the ones that the one that I'm doing obviously in this video is something that I feel is a little tiny bit more balanced uh, than the original, but you can also make the original. And any time you re-jigger cocktail recipes, which I am fully, fully in support of, you always should make the original cocktail first, taste it. That's basically how you're going to come to the realization that something's not as balanced as you'd like it to be, and then you can rejigger them. Uh, and uh, I think that that's a completely valid thing to do, but you should always taste the original. All right, let's get into making the cocktail. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to do four drops. I like had to count it so I didn't go over. Uh, four drops of the Mole Bitters from Bitterman's, uh, which is a great company, but it's Mole Bitters. Uh, and then uh, just a couple of dashes of orange bitters. Uh, then we're gonna do half an ounce of cherry hearing, which is a uh, cherry liqueur. Most commonly found in the, can you guess it? Singapore sling. Yes, you're right. Marius just looked at me confused. I was pretending that he actually answered soundlessly. Oh, I played. Try that again. I thought the, you said that the audience was replying. Well, yeah, that was kind of the implication, but then I saw the confused look on your face. So then I wanted to answer as if you were correct. Uh, and then uh, one ounce of Campari. And then an ounce and a half of bonded rye. It has to be 100 proof rye. It should be bonded. Use Rittenhouse. Uh, but you need to, you know, because of the uh, very flavorful ingredients of this cocktail, you need to make sure that you have a nice big spicy rye to balance it all out. And then we're just gonna drop a big old rock ice in here and give it a stirry, a stirry poo. I said a stirry, and then I was like, there should be a poo at the end of that. A stirry poo is what it should be. Just give it a nice stir. Just remember this is on a big rock, so you don't have to stir it all the way down. It will chill and dilute as you sip. So you can stir it and chill it and dilute it on the front end as much as you'd like, or as little as you'd like, it's up to you. I'm gonna get a nice big orange peel and spritz it on our glass, like so. Give it another, I went like, I gave it like a little sound effect. Uh, we'll stick that on the back end of that ice. We're gonna, yeah, situate it that way. Okay, let's taste it. Oh, there are some, some surprising flavors in there. Uh, first of all, it is big and spicy. Um, the Campari lends, you know, the bitterness that Campari lends to things. But the Campari, the rye, and the cherry hearing together with the chocolate, it really brings that chocolate out. You get the bigness and the spiciness of the rye. You got a little back palate bitterness to it. The cherry hearing provides a nice cherry flavor, but also a nice, a nice 
sweetness to it that really kind of dial kind of brings it all together. Um, this is like a nice end of the night cocktail, but it's like one of those end of the night cocktails where it's a very big, it's not like a low ABV night ender. This is like a very high ABV night ender, uh, but a really tasty one at that. I mean, if I was going to be like, you know, what, I'm just going to have a couple of drinks. This one might be the last one I drink because it's pretty good. Pretty goddamn good. I got to say. Oh, the orange plays really nicely off that. I mean, like anything with Campari in it really should have some orange element. It's just so good. And the orange bitters just sort of like bring that all together as well. Really nicely balanced. Really like it a lot. Uh, so there you have it, my friends. The arbitrary nature of time. I guess that's all I got for you today. Uh, if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. And check us out on Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Educated Barfly. Uh, we've got some really good exclusive content going on there. And we're going to be uh, crowdfunding because we're going to have to change our set. And we are going to build a new one. And we thought that for, you know, perks or whatever, you guys might be interested in helping us out. We're going to put that on Patreon instead of something like Kickstarter because we already have our Patreon going. We kind of figured we could do like a, like a one-off thing where you just sub a month and then you can cancel just to kind of... Uh, raise money in that tier so that we can put that money aside and build a set. We've got a really cool perk for you guys. And uh, I think you guys are going to like it. So I think that you guys should uh, definitely consider doing that. Uh, we need to change our set. We are getting kicked out of here. I have finally driven my wife to her limit. All right. Uh, well, Marius is looking at me like either you should wrap it up or you should go on and keep talking for 10 minutes. I think I'm just going to wrap it up. Yeah, uh, the aprons. Oh, the aprons, dudes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I, this is something that I, I don't want to, um, I don't want to admonish you guys for this, but I got to say, I know that this channel has been uh, responsible for selling a bunch of Stagger League goods, aprons. We have a discount code and not a lot of people have been using it, but the traffic has been coming from this uh YouTube channel. So if you want to save yourself 20%, go to staggerlygoods.com, barfly SLG20 at checkout. We'll save you 20%, uh, I think, store wide. So just go and use that, uh, that code. And that helps us out because it shows them how much we traffic we're responsible for. And uh, that is just one way that we help fund this channel. So it's really, really, really important you do that. And then the other thing is, even though I didn't use a straw here, we have a discount so code at Surfside Sips. They make high impact glass straws. I love them to death. I've been using them on this channel. Everybody that I know has ordered them because some people, uh, some of the viewers have emailed me and hit me up on Facebook and showed me pictures of their Surfside Sips and just told me how, how wonderful they think that they are. Just hit Barfly20 at checkout or Barfly. Both of those discount codes work. So you can do Barfly, that works. Barfly20, that works too. Uh, at checkout and get your straws and uh, anything else I'm missing, Marius? Yeah, who makes our awesome tools? And oh, where can yeah. Get I mean, I used a ridiculously long spoon in this. So, yeah. Uh, Barfly Mixology Gear. Use it. Uh, they, they are the ones that manufacture these wonderful, very professional bar tools that we use. And you can get a hold of them by going to our Amazon store. So that would be Amazon.com slash shop slash The Educated Barfly. And then you go to our Amazon store. And if you buy uh, tools or whatever that we have on our Amazon store through our affiliate link, that also we get a little kickback, which helps us then also fund the show. So there's lots of different ways that you can help us make our funding goals every month. So go and do it. Until next time. I think that's enough marketing to you guys. Uh, we will see you on another time.